So start off by telling me your full name. Hans Olaf Bennett. Do you like school? Well, my favorite part would probably be PE because you get to do games and exercise. Well, it's just exciting. I'm good at playing instruments. What do you want to do when you grow up? Hmm. I was thinking maybe a doctor. So why a doctor? So I can treat all kinds of diseases and I'll know a lot. What was it like for you when you heard that news? Scary. So Hans, where are you? In the infusion room. They're going to access my port. They're going to stick a needle in that? Well, I think I remember I started laughing, like chuckling, because I didn't know what to do. And then my parents started crying. And then I was, I still had a smile on my face, but I was like wondering what was going on. So then there was nurses, and it was as if they were like waiting just around the corner. And then they just come out with the medicine, and they're like, OK, you have to take this. And I'm like, um, uh, and they're like, what, what are you waiting for? And they got me a room. My parents took sort of like shifts. My sisters, I think, came to see me and then they went back home with one of my parents while one of my parents stayed. Yeah, I have leukemia, so blood cancer. And when were you diagnosed? Eight. Are you going through treatment? Yeah, I'll be done with it in the, when I'm 12. Take 100 kids your age and rate yourself in terms of happiness, with 100 being the most happy. I do probably an 80. What could make you happier? Hmm. Doing service for others. You're all done with your appointment today. Now what happens? I get to take a think off my chain. What's that chain, Hans? It's how many more clinic appointments I have uh -huh. until I'm done. Dun, dun, dun. So when is the last time you cried, and why? At home, because I was in pain. So you hurt so much sometimes that it makes you cry. I have a uh, port right here, which is because they have to put stick a needle in me every time. They don't want to keep making holes in my arm, so they put this permanent thing in that has a tube that goes into my vein so they can just take blood out. So do you feel sick most of the time? Yeah, but it's not that bad. What would you like to know most about your future? How long will I live? Do you ever feel angry? Yeah. I'm near the end, actually. We're in the last six months area, because it ends at the end of July. I'm finished with treatment. What's the most difficult thing emotionally that you've ever dealt with? Probably, uh... The reason why I got cancer. Like kind of why me? Yeah. Do you ever get an answer to that question? Yeah, um... Well, in our religion, I'm not quite sure what others are like. But uh, life is a test, and uh, it was a uh, God testing me. And uh, sometimes it's unfair, but I also am thankful because it's given me an understanding of a greater understanding of things. So um, I caught Hans one day dancing to the song 99 Red Balloons and so I knew he liked it 
and then I thought about red balloons and the leukemia society and how it'd be fun to have 99 balloons at his party. <laughs> Instead of having the put my arm a bunch of times, they just they put the people in there, and it was easier to get blood. And now it's been taken out. And so we have this, my fort. What's your name? Hans Bennett. How old are you? Uh, I'm 13. What's the biggest problem you're dealing with right now? Probably my uh, anxiety. I mean, part of this shift for him has been the way he felt treated while he was ill versus how he's treated now. And it's mostly about attention. The people were really kind and understanding. You know, everyone was. And he's uh, said, now I'm expected sort of to go right back into school and be like I'm all better. And, and he's finding that, remember he called it the adjustment period wasn't long enough for him? And he's developed this panicky thing that happens when we talk about school. We've been trying to go to school for about a year and a half. And we were doing okay until November. And then in November we stopped going. So I guess they're finding out now that depression or anxiety is a um, side effect of surviving cancer. It wasn't a problem a few years ago because kids were not surviving it, but now they're finding this out. What's your greatest fear? Probably being re-diagnosed. Greatest longing? Probably just to have a normal life. So you've made progress? Yeah. How would you describe your progress? I've been moving forward with my life. It's very common what I have, anxiety. And overcoming it is really just about putting things into perspective. Putting it in perspective, um, what do you mean? Give me an example. Comparing your fear to something that's really dangerous. Like, let's say you're afraid of bees. You might get stung, it'll hurt might be swollen, but in the long run, it's not as bad as a snake bite. What you need is experience and putting it into perspective. I haven't really been having all that much anxiety lately. Describe your perfect Friday evening. Playing magic with my dad while eating some kind of treat, and then afterwards, the whole family watches uh, a family movie together.